Breakfast in bed. How romantic. But you better keep that sleep apnea mask on because this breakfast in bed will also stop your breathing. Today on Port Choices, we're cooking up a gourmet breakfast burrito with pancetta, duck fat roasted potatoes and tomatoes, creamy herb infused eggs, caramelized onions, and a cheesy crust on the outside of the burrito. This burrito is a handful of heaven and your two hands will definitely be wrapped around something else later after your loved one makes this for you. That of course, after a very long nap. Starting out, so this recipe has a lot of steps that can all happen at the same time if you're using all the burners on your stovetop and the oven. I'd say just under an hour is what it took me when I did the test cook. So I'm just gonna try and speak as if I was doing all this at the same time, even though some shots will show me doing something slightly different, but that's just because I can only film one thing at the time while I cook. So we're gonna start with the potatoes. First, we're gonna start by preheating the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, we're gonna grab two cups of baby potatoes and you can either cut them in half or quarter them. We just want them to be bite-sized, so make sure they're all even. Now in a bowl, we're gonna toss the potatoes with about two tablespoons of duck fat that I'm going to melt in the microwave for about 30 seconds just to get it back to its liquid state. And if you don't have duck fat, olive oil works just as well, but duck fat adds a rich and deep flavor. And to that, we're going to add a pinch of salt and pepper and about one to two teaspoons of freshly chopped rosemary. And if you only have dried rosemary, you can just go with half a teaspoon. And then we're just going to give everything a good mix and make sure all the potatoes are fully coated. Really get in there and massage it. And then spread them out on a single layer on a baking sheet. And we're going to roast these for about 25 to 30 minutes, flipping them halfway through. And we're going to keep cooking them until they are crispy and golden brown. Also taste your potatoes once you get them out of the oven because they might need a little bit more salt so here's a good time to do it while they're nice and hot still. Step two which you can also do at the exact same time as you're doing the potatoes we're going to prep and roast the cherry tomatoes. So we're going to take one cup of cherry tomatoes and we're just going to slice them in half and place them into a bowl and then we're going to drizzle the tomatoes with one tablespoon of olive oil and season them with a pinch of salt and pepper and then we're just going to add one teaspoon of fresh thyme leaves or if you're using dry thyme you can use a half teaspoon. Toss the tomatoes gently to coat them and then we're just going to place them on another baking sheet cut side up and we're going to roast these alongside the potatoes for about 15 to 20 minutes or until the tomatoes are blistered and starting to caramelize. Well, that's going on, we're gonna cook the pancetta. We're using eight ounces of diced cured pancetta for this recipe, which will give the burrito that savory, crispy goodness. And make sure it's cured pancetta, which will give you that great salty flavor similar to bacon. I tried like pancetta for years and it never had any flavor until I realized I was buying uncured pancetta. And it should just say right on the packaging. So we're gonna heat the skillet over medium heat. And once it's hot, we're gonna add the pancetta in a single layer and let them cook for about five to seven minutes until they're golden brown and crispy. And then once the pancetta is cooked, we're going to transfer that all to a paper towel lined plate to drain off any excess fat. And then in that same skillet with the residual pancetta fat, we're going to caramelize some onions. So I've got one large yellow onion that I've thinly sliced and we're going to just add it to the skillet over medium low heat. And we're going to sprinkle it with a pinch of salt to help draw out the moisture. And then we're just going to cook these onions nice and slow, stirring occasionally for about 25 to 30 minutes. And we're just looking for deep golden brown onions that are sweet and caramelized. And if the skillet starts to look too dry, just add a splash of olive oil or butter to keep things moving. Next, we can prepare our smoked paprika aioli. So while the onions are caramelizing, we can whip this up real quick. And it's gonna add a nice smoky creamy flavor to the burrito. So in a small bowl, we're gonna combine half a cup of mayonnaise, one minced garlic clove, one teaspoon of smoked paprika and one teaspoon of lemon juice. And we're just gonna add a pinch of salt and pepper to taste. And we're gonna whisk all that together until it's smooth and creamy. Again, taste it just to make sure you don't need to add anything else. And then we're just gonna set it aside in the fridge until we're ready to use it. Now for the scrambled eggs. In a bowl, we're gonna crack six eggs and whisk them together with one fourth cup of heavy cream. And this is gonna make the eggs extra creamy. For the herbs, we're gonna add two tablespoons each of freshly chopped chives, parsley, and tarragon. And if you only have dry tarragon, you can use one teaspoon of that dry tarragon instead. So we're gonna heat a nonstick skillet over low heat and add a little bit of butter. And then we're gonna pour in the eggs and gently stir them, making sure to cook them nice and slow so they stay soft and creamy. This is the key to those super creamy eggs, is nice and slow and steady, constantly stirring. Once the eggs are about 80 to 90% cooked and still a little runny, we're gonna remove them from the heat and stir in half a cup of freshly shredded Gruyere cheese which FYI, I prepped all my cheeses earlier before I started cooking. And then we're gonna get our eggs off the heat and let the residual heat melt that cheese into the eggs, making them rich and cheesy. And now it's time to assemble the burrito. We're gonna start by warming our tortilla up so it's nice and pliable. And then on there, I've just got two tablespoons of store-bought pesto. Uh, we're making a lot of things from scratch here, so I'm trying to cut you some slack. So yeah, this is just store-bought pesto, two tablespoons of it. And then we're gonna follow it with a spoonful of our smoked paprika aioli. And then we're gonna start layering in the filling, starting with the roasted duck fat potatoes. Then we're gonna add the herb infused scrambled eggs. We're gonna to top the eggs with that pancetta, followed by a layer of the caramelized onions, and finally the sweet roasted cherry tomatoes. And then we're just gonna wrap that burrito nice and tight, folding in the sides first, then kind of tucking over this back end, pulling it in towards us, and then slowly rolling it over. Don't worry if you mess it up the first time. I've been to Chipotle a thousand times and seen them rip my thing and just remake it all over again. And then you could just stop here and eat it. It's a perfectly fine burrito, but 
let's take a little bit further. I mean, I really want to go back to sleep. So we're going to create our cheddar Parmesan cheese crust. So either over a griddle or a large skillet over medium high heat, which is around 375 degrees. We're going to get that preheated. And then in a bowl, we're going to combine one cup of shredded cheddar cheese and half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. And if there's ever a time to grate your cheeses, this is the best time because you really want that cheese to melt. And by the way, this was a smoked cheddar. So we're going to sprinkle that cheese mixture directly onto the hot griddle in the shape a little bit larger than the size of the burrito. And then we're just gonna let the cheese melt and bubble for about one to two minutes until the edges start to brown and crisp up. Then we're gonna place a burrito seam side down onto the melted cheese, let it cook for about one more minute and then carefully use a spatula to lift the edges of the cheese and wrap it around the burrito as you push it. And then we're just gonna cook it for like one more minute and let that cheese set and adhere to the burrito and boom, we're done. Cut it into two and serve it with some more of that smoked paprika aioli. And of course, any type of breakfast always goes great with mimosas. Hey everybody, this is Poor Choices Kitchen. We have a Patreon link down in the description. One dollar a month is all we ask for to pay for recipes in these here inflated times. And we also have YouTube memberships. That's $2.99. And if you want to know the difference, uh, Patreon, you can edit your donation to be more than a dollar if you want to. And YouTube is just $2.99 flat locked in. No tears there. But subscribing on YouTube also lets me hit the threshold to get paid by YouTube a lot quicker. So both have their benefits. So enjoy this recipe. I know breakfast burritos are like that thing that you should just be able to make in like 10 minutes, but I really wanted to do something nice and fancy here. And I totally think this is worth it. Uh, if you were out here in LA and ordered the same burrito, I guarantee it'd be like $30. And then you probably wouldn't buy it because who the hell is paying $30 for a breakfast burrito? Actually, somebody on Melrose would. But you and your loved ones get to have it at home. So enjoy. And I will see you all back here next time. Peace.